Okay, this is the neighborhood for 208 Morgan Creek. Um, so kind of, um, no houses are really the same in this neighborhood, which is nice. There's not cookie cutter houses. Every now and then you'll find just like kind of a strange house that doesn't seem to fit in the neighborhood. But um, for the most part, it has some character. Decent curb appeal from the front of the house. We do have this tree kind of blocking the view of the front porch. And um, there is a little sidewalk that goes around the side there. So we have a pretty big covered front porch. Um, it is painted and there's a little bit of paint peeling, but not bad. Siding looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, but this is a huge area right here for a little table and chairs. Really quiet street. I've got a little bit of tips of mountaintops that we can see here from the front porch. Um, nothing amazing, but it's something. Okay, so this is a little bit more of a dated house in terms of the style. So where it has the step down here to get to the living room space. So just a little bit different. Uh, this looks like it's cherry wood floors. So we have stairs right off the front. A nice huge landing area. Um, closet, a weird, weird closet. It's like one foot wide going back to a more open space. So that is different. And then this must be the garage entry. I don't love that. Um, and the garage is not huge. It's, it's a barely a two car garage. So there's, you know, one foot maybe there and one foot over there for extra width. A little bit extra deep on that side, um, about five feet extra deep. This step is not attached, so it wiggled a lot when I stepped on it. Um, just a different style. It's not my style personally for this house. Uh, corner fireplace. It has wood on the outside, like a little wood um, border, I guess, and then the carpet in the middle. The carpet is in great shape. It looks really good. The wood itself looks like maybe it's gotten water right here on it. Uh, maybe that's just mud, I don't know. It's hard to say what's going on there. But corner fireplace, this is set up to have the TV right there. Nice big windows and it is a pretty deep backyard. And then that is open space right here. So, you know, you'll have people walking. There's a little trail right here, just past these little trees. And so you'll have people walking through that area, but I don't, nobody's gonna be that close to really be in your view. So again, that's the front door, that's the garage door, and then the stairs going up kitchen apparently these are concrete countertops and they're in rough shape um it had a finish on it like this is really smooth feeling and then this is kind of rough feeling so they're assuming people would want to put new countertops in this kitchen to make it a little nicer it is a KitchenAid dishwasher really shallow sink. This is only like a six inch deep sink. That's just weird. Um, sink does look, overlook the backyard, which is great. Glass top range. It is the five burner. Basic oven, basic microwave. Kind of cool that there's some little windows here on either side. Um, basic refrigerator. No water or ice. In the, in the door. Uh, there is an ice maker in the freezer. I don't know if it works because they have a bag of ice. There. And this is a pantry closet. It's not very deep. It's probably only 10 inches deep. And then this is the dining area. Has a little wet bar 
built into the dining area. So this is a pretty big room. It's probably 12 feet by 12 feet. So that's a good space. Um, these are, I'm assuming cherry wood floors. So this area is definitely a lot more scratched up. Um, you could probably have the floors refinished. Right in front of the door is really scratched up. I don't, that's not showing how well I want it to be showing. I guess right there you can see it better. Um, so yeah, right in front of the front, this uh, back door, really, really scratched up. And then we go out to the patio. This one is also painted, and this one's in a lot worse shape. So it needs some maintenance and some help. Um, but again, good sized backyard. Four foot tall fence, little gate that goes out back, um, little hose spigot further out there for garden space. That looks like a lilac bush right there in the corner. This is a not fully covered section. 